Welcome to this Train Sim World News episode where we're going to be talking all about West Somerset Railway Remastered. Uh, I hear what I hear you ask, what is it all about? Well, it's a uh, free update that will be available to all those that already own uh, West Somerset Railway and uh, those of you who obviously want to, to purchase the route. Um, if you like this video, please consider hitting that like button and also subscribing and we'll now dive into some of the detail and the headlines of what actually comes with this free update. So here we go, nice picture of the 47, a little bit of a, a moody scene with the fog. Oh, I love it. So the headlines are, it comes with the Todd 4 lighting and dynamic weather. Uh, that's very much the lighting and weather uh, that was introduced alongside Train Symbol 3. So nice to see it's been taken up to that standard. Uh, this add-on was released actually quite early on in the Train Symbol franchise. So nice to see it's been brought up to date we've got volumetric fog which obviously new feature part of train symbol 4 great to see chain paths always nice scenery updates minehead town uh, watch it harbour and the yard at bishop's lydiard nice uh, then we've got audio improvements to the 47 09 33 and 52 i think that's also very much welcomed we've got then a short extension to the track scenery at uh, norton fitzwarren to include part of the bristol to exeter mainline very nice and uh, we'll come on to a picture of that it's a nice little addition we've got uh, coal loading um, functioning water towers and AI whistling boards very very nice these nice little additions and then I think that the biggest thing um, is really the brand new uh, additional timetable that brings um, a steam gala essentially um, which was based on a 2022 real world timetable you've got steam services shuttles winter specials rail tours so yeah it's i think that's something the community has always kind of said about west somerset railway it needed that steam uh timetable or steam services that were missing from from it but nice to see it. it's finally here so again you can see uh I'll just try to work out what that is it looks like a jubilee perhaps um you know in the snow there it looks absolutely fantastic oh, i've got flying scotsman it could be the scotsman even see I, it is scotsman actually i'll take that back see i don't know my steam locomotives <laughs> uh so in terms of the um steam timetable uh obviously you'll be able to use the flying scotsman the jubilee the atf and the 4f so um the jubilee and the atf uh come from uh, spirit steam the 4f from peak forest and obviously Flying Scotsman from the uh, the other uh, add-on that or kind of the add-on that was released with Train Symbol 4. Uh, there we go. See a little bit of an update there. 47 and 09. Oh, this looks good. So um, the existing timetable has been pretty much maintained, but also then brought up to latest. Uh, Latest uh, feature set, which is nice. So we've got two timetables to pick from. Been some audio improvements. Love to see that. Uh, of course, the 33 and the 52, both separate add-ons. We'll get uh, refreshed with the new rain effects on the window windscreens. I like that. Bringing it again, bringing it up to um, the latest standards, uh, and also improvements to the horns. Lovely stuff. Uh, there you go. If you want to see the dovetail um, preview stream of it tonight. You absolutely can uh, jump on and watch that if you want to learn more about it. There we go. Uh, a little bit of the prices about um, if you want to pick up these routes. All I would say is they've announced uh, Festival of Rail. I suspect there might be a, a sale uh, alongside that if you want to hold on. But uh, these these very much regularly go on you know on sale. Uh, there we go. Again, we've got, um, oh, it's like, uh, what is it? A Jubilee, perhaps? No, Flying Scotsman. And is that Jubilee? Yeah, maybe. But my God, doesn't it look good now? We've got the uh, the contrast. We've got the Flying Scotsman. We've got a 33 there, the ATF. This is what we absolutely wanted to see for, for quite some time now is having these this steam gala. Because it really was missing. So I'm a big fan of this. And like I can say, I have to credit where it's due um yeah and we'll come on to kind of some of the playable layers you can see there we've got the scotsman um actually tender first so something a little bit different that you don't necessarily do with the scotsman on uh, east coast uh, mainline so again 
using that uh, loco in a slightly different role is great to see, I think. And there we go, Flying Scotsman. Ah, oh, I love it. So, playable services. What have we got here? West, so, we've got Flying Scotsman, last visited West Somerset Rail in 2017. Nice. Um, what else? What else have we got? Some more. Yeah, so the 4F actually does um, some kind of freight-related uh, services, which are pretty nice, actually. A um, little bit different than just hauling um, passenger coaches. Yeah, I like that. And then you've also got uh, the... Um, this is from West uh, Cornwall Local uh, Steam Railway Pack. Uh, obviously, you get the the Jubilee with the lights all over it. Does does look fantastic, actually. Especially uh, on West Somerset Railway. That's a pretty cool shot. It's amazing what you can do with uh, photo mode. I like it. Um, so there's lots of uh, lots of different steam locos or the four steam locos that we have in Train Some World are all available to drive. We then have some uh, 150 playable shuttle services. So this goes between uh, Bishop's Lydiard and uh, Norton Fitzwarren. Um, the only kind of slight criticism with that would be that it's obviously using the 150 from uh, West Cornwall Local. It's obviously in its regional railways this is intended to be set in the 2022 obviously 150s would have been in the gwr lift livery so it would have been nice to get it but free update i get it not in the scope of uh update and livery but it would be nice perhaps one day to see the correct livery on that um then we've got uh, the hsts so on when you get to norton fitzwarren um you would traditionally see uh yeah HSTs or GWR uh, running up and down. Um, more modern would be obviously the eight class eight hundred IETs. Um, maybe some castle sets, probably depending upon when this was. Uh, obviously, this was uh, kind of the time period it's set. Uh, I think the HSTs are their full length units rather than the castle sets. Would have been nice perhaps to see castle if it was set in sort of twenty twenty two, perhaps. But again, minor criticism. You got class sixty six movements. Um, again, uh, despite being the connection to the main line at Norton Fitzwarren facilitates a number of different freight moves. Nice regular ballast cleaning. That's pretty cool. Um, again, I think these are very much AI, so not playable, but would be uh, you know you're free to use this in free roam uh, and go a little bit uh, wild with it, of course. And then uh, you've got additional timetable layers and free roam options. Um, so very much the uh, the pacer, the 142, um, can be used based on obviously what we've got there. The 101 currently isn't a resident on the West Somerset Railway. Players uh, can enjoy using this DM DMU. Um, through the class... The, the class 101 isn't a resident of West Somerset Railway. Players in Northern Transport can join you in the original timetable. Oh, okay, fair enough. In reality, these are run by the similar class 115, but a two car 101 did visit the line back in 2009. Oh, there you go. Middle and main line players can also use the 158 in free room. Nice. Uh, and again, not pre uh, fun, but not prototypical. The, the pacer can be used as well. And we've got the original. Uh, timetable layers for the diesel <laughs> uh, timetable so you've got the the 08 the 09 the 20 the 31 the 33 37 40 45 47 52 and 66 so a whole wide range of uh, locos that can be used on that original timetable uh, and you can see it there you've got the 33 the 20 the 101 i think that's a 40 in the background there so um, that diesel timetable still is as rich as ever. Uh, we've got a little bit. I'm not going to go too much into it. We've got what is needed for each of the layers. So I think if we focus on the new timetable, because that's probably more more relevant, um, you'll need West Somerset Railway, the Flying Scotsman, Peak Forest, uh, West Cornwall Local, and West Cornwall Steam Rail. Oh, okay, that's quite nice that you don't need Spirit of Steam. They use the Peak Forest one. Makes that makes a little bit more sense. So I like that. And then if you want the I in the new timetable, 
Uh, you'll need the uh, BR Heavy Freight Pack, Tease Valley, the Class 20, uh, Great Western Express, Northern Trans Pennine, the ROG 37, Railhead Treatment Train, Southeastern High Speed, I assume, for the 66, and then the 33 and 52 separately. And then you've got some optional content for uh, free roam. So that uh, update is very much out today uh, and should be rolling out, I guess, within the next hours if you haven't already received it. Um, then we've got some uh, a little update on the, the winter core update that's due. Um, I think I'm a little surprised. I was expecting perhaps a little bit more um, in terms of highlights here. So we've got improved PIS Brightness for more visibility, fine. Free roam fix is fine. Scoring adjustment, that is that is overdue because, yeah, um, that scoring system isn't great at the minute. It's pretty hard not to get a planner. Um, added an option to disable the horrible traction lock icon. A big fan of that. And then more interestingly, we've got formation designer. So this was one of the features that was announced alongside uh, Trains in World 4, um, but was expected to come a little bit later. We've now are going to have an open beta, um, which is only for those of you on Steam. So it'll be interesting to have um, a little play with that, see what it can do. Um, obviously noting that it's obviously in beta, so it's likely to, to change. And that brings us nicely to the end of the video. So West Somerset Railway update, looking fantastic. I can't wait to drive it myself. Um, hopefully you also uh, think it's a positive step. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. So bye bye for now.